Hi, I'm Kate Ward and this is your Dickman Farms Smart Gardening Tip. And here we are in the garden once again at home. So hello everybody. Just saying hi this morning by looking at a hydrangea, probably one of our most commonly questioned and misunderstood plants in the garden center. So we're at home today because there's this thing that we always talk about called old and new growth on a hydrangea. And this is the best time to show you what we're talking about. So right here we say, well, you're gonna wait till the end of winter and then you're gonna trim it back uh, till you start to see new growth. And uh, it's on the old growth that we have flower buds for the season. Well, here's an example of both, okay? So this here, these are the sticks left over from last season, all right? Here's another one. And on those sticks, you can see I have buds beginning to break. So by rights, actually, this is called, this is considered old growth. So it is pushing out off of those old sticks. Now, also in here, down at the base, coming out of the ground, see there's no woody stick here, there's just green. This is new growth. So this is not a flower bearing branch right here. Not for me anyways, okay? So this is a ball type hydrangea, meaning it gets those pink or blue flowers that you see on them. And this is the type that blooms on older new growth. So when we say we're gonna cut back, if I look around this plant, you can see, hmm, I don't have much of anything. This whole piece right here didn't make it, so I'm gonna cut it back down, down to the ground. Oh, but Kate, it's gonna be completely uneven. Um, this is another one. When it starts to grow, what are we gonna do about that? Don't worry about it. I will have an even canopy because of the old growth and the new growth will even out. This plant has a nice big base. It's been here a while, it's got a good root system. If we look up here, up, oh, there was no growth above that point, so I'm gonna trim to there. No growth above this point, gonna trim to there, okay? So hopefully that helps demystify a couple of our old growth, new growth questions that we get in the garden center about hydrangeas. And until we see you again, this has been your Dickman Farms Smart Gardening Tip.